mother absolutely loved sharing her books with the patients. You know what? What would you think about putting a mini library here at the hospital? Well, that would be a, a gift from mom that would live on. Yeah, right. Well, it already does, doesn't it? Through you and our children and grandchildren. Oh, I know that look. You're thinking that uh, Katie and Chris will be giving you another grandchild. <laughs> Or sooner than later. Oh. <laughs> Here's one that Mom used to read to Chris and to Andy. Oh, right. Gee, I don't know. Maybe I should save this one for the future. Why did you bring us here? What good deeds can we do in the hotel bar? <laughs> uh, honey, would you uh, give us three pink ladies? <laughs> well, well, one virgin and two not. <laughs> Over here, ladies, have a seat. <sighs> oh, look, I have to tell you, I have been thinking about this quite a bit. And when it is my time to punch out, I, well, you know, I want to make sure that I have a big party just before. I want to have dancing, music, so forth and so on. Handsome men all around. I thought we already had a tribute to you. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, it's very funny. Okay. Nancy always said, leave the living to the living, or something like that. <laughs> oh, I love Nancy. She always understood me, and she loved me anyway. <laughs> oh. Here you are, dear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Mother, this is such a wonderful surprise. It really is. I still want to understand what it's all about. I mean, it's not my birthday or anything. Well, it's just a little gesture of thanks for all you've done around here in the past few months. As I've told you, dear, I don't know how I would have made it through without you. Well, Mother, I've only done what anyone else would have done under the circumstances. Oh, wait. Wait, wait just a moment. I want to warn you. These drinks come with a price. You're charging us for drinks that you ordered. Mm -hmm. I am. Think of this as a charity, but something that Nancy would approve of. Got it. Now what? How much would you like to donate to a charity in Nancy's name? Excellent idea. I'll write a check as soon as I get home. As will I. Well, that's wonderful. Now, whatever amount that you had in your mind, double it. Got it? Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a very expensive drink. It better be good. <laughs> to Nancy. To Nancy. You know, you're too much. First of all, you con me into giving free medical services to Luke's foundation, and then you bring me here for a beer. No good deed goes unstoned. <laughs> Boy, I gave up on that stuff years ago. So what is your good deed? Recruiting you. Ah, you don't look too happy about it. Yeah. I hate this beer. <laughs> this is my penance. <laughs> so how's the family? Okay. Good. Good. Lily hates me, doesn't want to speak to me anymore. Boy, the more things change... The more they stay the same. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That's funny? <laughs> What's funny about that? Well, actually, it is funny. It's ironic, too. You know, earlier I was, I was <clears throat> petitioning the spirit world for some help. And I, who would have thought that you would be what was sent? Oh. Well, try me. <sighs> oh, God. I miss Lily. I do. What should I do, Dr. John? How would I know? Right. <laughs> I should have gotten the answer from the spirit world, from, from Nancy Hughes, while yes. I had the chance. Yes, yes. Well, now Nancy knew the importance of the family. Yeah. yeah, that she did. You know, it reminds me of a story that Lisa told me one time. That when she was married to Bob, early married to Bob, and they still had little Tommy, and they were living, all of them together, with Nancy. <laughs> Well, if you were to go upstairs now into your bedroom, you wouldn't find Tommy's bed in there. What? I, I put some furniture in of where his bed was so that it would be more like a sitting room as well as a bedroom for you. Well, where did you put his bed? He's going to share Grandpa's room. Oh, my 
Mom, you shouldn't have done that. I didn't. It was your grandfather's idea. And he felt very selfish for not having thought of it before. Well, you know, Bobby, it is a big room. But I know, but... He's right, though, dear. There's no reason why Tommy shouldn't sleep in there in his room. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Hughes, she, she gave them permission to get it on, even though oh, they married. And, yeah. oh, and, and had a child. <laughs> oh, and, and John. Mm. Mm. The moral of this story oh. is... That children are more important than anything. Oh. Even your pride. So why don't you swallow it? <laughs> and just apologize to Lily. I mean, how did how did you even come up with that? Duh, you want to be a lawyer. Yes, I know, but volunteer at the legal aid, it was... I never thought I would have so much fun answering phones and making coffees, you know? <laughs> I know we were supposed to volunteer for, you know, for Graham, but it was... it was fun. Because of you. It's all. Still want to marry me? Yes. But I, I do feel like you've been giving it a second thought. I... I did. I, I was. I did, but not anymore. Look, it had nothing to do with you. It was all doubts about myself. And then I finally realized that no one else is going to be a better wife for you than me. And that'll be true for the rest of our lives. All right, we better get out these candles before everybody else gets here. Yeah, yeah. I want to give you something. Yeah. Um, Allison, you know, well, obviously it didn't work out, so I want you to have this back. My ring. Yeah. You keep this, dear. But I'm not getting married. Not just yet. You grew up in a family of strong marriages, so I have a feeling that someday you're going to plan your own wedding. When you do, that will be a good standby for the girl who's going to be smart enough to choose you. What are you doing with that? I thought you were going to put that someplace safe. My grams really believed in love. And she believed in us. And I'm gonna put this where it belongs. <laughs> mm. Oh, a marriage license? What? Oh, goodness. Oh, and this looks like your grandfather's law diploma. Uh, you know what? She helped him get that. This work, she was working as a teacher. Oh. Mm. What else is in here? Oh, well. What are those? Did these belong to your dad? No. Those actually. Those were actually his sister Susan's. She died in a swimming accident when she was a teenager. I remember Dad had said that Graham would often get depressed thinking about it. Mm, he always seemed so content. Well, I think at some point she and Granddad decided they'd have to live their lives with no regret. Oh. Look at these. Oh. Look at them. <laughs> There's a lot that's gone on in 50 years. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? Not a day of regret. I wish there could be 50 more. I love you every day. Who's to say there won't be 50 more? Yeah. Yeah. Only one Nancy in the whole wide world. I'm lucky enough to be able to call this man and this woman mom and dad. God bless you. Yes, you know. Growing old together. Loving each other. No regrets.
Does everyone have a candle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Wait, wait, we're missing somebody. Yeah, Chris and Katie. Oh. Well, should we should we start without them? You know, maybe they wanted some alone time after they did their good deed. Somebody should say something. Oh, honey, what about the prayer that Mom likes so much? Yeah, yeah, the, the Thanksgiving prayer. Yeah. Give it a try. Do you still remember the words? Yeah, yeah, it, it begins, Oh, God. Oh, God, when, when I, I have, have food, food, help, help me, me to, to remember, remember the hungry. The hungry. Mm -hmm. When I have work, help me to remember the jobless. When I have a home, help me to remember those who have no home at all. When I am without pain, help me to remember those who suffer. And remembering, help me to destroy my complacency, bestir my compassion, and be concerned enough to help by word and deed those who cry out for what we take for granted. Amen. Sorry. Hey, better late than ever, right? Yeah. Oh. Do you have an extra one for Katie? Yeah, yeah. Where is Katie? Oh, she's around. Here. Am I nuts? If you're nuts, I'm nuts too. I've talked to Chris all along. For 23 years I've talked to him. That's how long he's been gone. So you f you feel like he's actually here? Always. I've never told any of this to Bob, but sometimes I wish I might because he worries so about my being all alone. But you're not alone. You're not alone. Let's just let it be our secret. I can't do it, Nancy. I can't lose someone else. Help me. Oh, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yes. Yes, I'm in love with Reed. I am. You two haven't seen Chris, have you? He's playing golf. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. Let's go. It's really happening. 